Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to the Sunday stream, Art of Kipfer channel. Uh, I'm Ricky Kipfer, top sketch artist. And this morning, or this afternoon, or tonight, which one is it? I don't know. Tonight, we're going to be opening a few packs. I guess we're, I'm tired. I think Joe's tired. We're all tired. It's a long weekend. But uh, at any rate, um, we're going to be opening some wine sticker packs. Uh, I think Mad Balls and first GPK packs as well. I got one of those to open. And some other vintage stuff. So we're going to go through some of that, as well as our final thing will be this box of uh, brand new series two. It's one of the first series I started collecting back when I started back, and we're going to open one of those and see what kind of bonuses and stuff's in it. Um, so joining me is Joe. Joe, what are you doing over there? You sorting cards? Oh, no. you're sorting all those cards you didn't open yet, right? <laughs> yeah, that's still yeah. got some. It's funny. But you got plenty. Hey, Patrick. Good to see everybody. Hey, JQ. Good evening. I couldn't tell you if it was morning, night, or evening in a minute. I was like, what? It's just the day. It's Sunday. You know. You know what happened? You know what happens on Sunday is I take a nap and like I get up and it's all over the place, man. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Bob. Reed, good to have you on. Hey, Gary. Hey, Ryan, good to see you out there. Hey, Gary, everybody who won some stuff on the 50th stream, we put did a, we got some pens and stickers. I've got all that ready to go out tomorrow. They're in packages, ready to go. We're gonna go to the mail. Um, if Lori's here in the chat, ping me. I need to get you confirm your address. Lori was out there uh, that that time, so. I'll try to reach out to her in another way, but uh, I'm not positive when you're at. I just want to confirm it. But everybody else, you're going to get something coming coming very soon now, including you, Joe. You got a box, man. Big old box. Full of excuses. I've just been throwing stuff in the box. Yeah, it's a box. I, need box. I, have so I know you need more boxes. Box. Yeah, sure. <laughs> something special. Something special. Hey, Salad Boy. What are you out there? Good to everybody on the, on the stream. We're going to just open some cool old stuff, some new stuff. Um, I think we'll start yeah. off with like these mad. I can't, can't this thing right here. Joe, you got a couple of these, right? I know. Anybody, anybody, I know we put them in the stream chat uh two weeks ago. Thanks for giving us a week off. Wow, you look more clear than me tonight. Look at that. You're you're, you're what's going on with my camera? It's weird. Mm. You've upgraded, you've upgraded, man. Might my be your light. lighting. Light your lighting is better. Yeah, for, for the lighting on me is not good. The lighting on the stuff is good, usually. That's that's where I spend all the the hard-earned cash on, man. Here, here. Here's where all the money's at. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful face. You don't want to put too much light on my face because I look too pale and dead, so. <laughs> See, you oh, thank you, Salad Boy. I noticed that. I thought that might be the case, so I'll send that I'll send that to, to that way. Thank you very much. I'll take care of that. Excellent. So, yeah, man, I, I thought, you know, uh, so these were limited to 1,500. I guess these were pre-orders from the previous thing. They didn't fulfill, right? Um, I believe I read something that Jeff wrote up talking about that there was a an error, maybe. A, yeah, like a misprint or an error or something like that. Error in this, so, so they so they said he said in that he's going to read they're redoing two additional two additional kind of packs right. to replace these, which is kind of weird. They would just like send them to Big Lots or Ollies, right? It's what they kind of did, right? Now that's really good that. Uh, what was yeah. the company? I want to recognize it. Was it DKE Toys or something like that? Or I that's think. Right. Don't hold me to that, but I think that's who it was. But uh, oh, Gary, I'm glad you picked up some. Gary picked up a couple. That's awesome. Very cool. I'm glad you. I think they're great. Anything that Sidekick prints, I'm, I'm pretty much a fan of. So I like I like their work. But man, they dip this thing. You compare this to like um, an old an old wax pack, like these. There's one yeah. stickers going to open in a minute. These are such thin wax yeah. packs. This thing is like a candle, man. You can put a wick on this thing and burn it. Dude. Yeah, it's very high quality. The DNA. So DNA is the company that was doing, uh, Prima DNA was doing the the, uh, the figurines. That's who did the figurines. Yeah. But the, the guy, the, the company that bought them up, though, I think is, is DKE or something like that, Toys. Yeah, I believe. Could be wrong. Hey, Lori, good to see you out there. Hey, Bobby. Bobby's out there in the chat. Bobby Bot. Good it's to so see weird. Bobby out there. That's your bedtime. <laughs> um, is all the right by Simcoe? We're gonna find that out. That's for sure. I yeah. Good. Yeah. Fine print. So I kicked out the wax packs and the cards. Right? So what's the fine print say? Printed in Vermont, Balls, USA. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, printed in Vermont. That's where Sidekick's at. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. Hey, Bobby. Nice. Beep, boop, boop, boop. 
Yeah. I'm going to pop this pack open. Let's see what's in here. Because Bobby's got a good question. Is yeah. is it all Simcoe art or what is it, man? I don't know. I think – now, some of the covers are for sure. And I think they mimic the covers of the comics. So here we go. Pop. So I picked up about four of these. I think, Joe, you picked up what? A couple more? I did. Let me see. Yeah. I like the little promo card that they sent with it. Yeah, yeah, the bootleg. Yeah, that's very cool. I got that overlay somewhere. Show that. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So, yeah, definitely Simcoe art. Yeah, I got a couple. Just got a couple of them. Darren, Darren, Oculus Orbis. Very cool. Are they all like just like raw cardboard back? No, no, they're very thin. They're very thin, very thin cards. There's a cardboard yeah. backer to it, guys. So there's this yeah. cardboard backer in it to make it hold up. Because I worried about that, Joe, because only four cards. Like, right. how is it so, like, like you know, it's still. I was like, yeah. I was like, these are packed tight, dude. Really <laughs> hardy, man. Yeah. Like, but no, these are very thin cards. Uh, are they stickers technically or cards? They're cards. Okay, so they're not stickers. And they got a little newspaper article in the back. Pretty okay. neat. I mean, they print high quality print. Look, I mean, it looks good. It's just very, very thin. Is that 14, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to guess 14, but like a wet 14. <laughs> and then uh, um, Cyclops, Hornhead. So that's, I remember this one from the covers. I don't know which issue, but yeah. And it might have been a variant cover too, Joe. You know, it might be like similar issues. Wow. Same co. Yep. So Simcoe, I believe, helped develop the GPK ones. The GPK Mad Balls are going they're supposed to release, right? What I saw. The key worked on that. Mouth fill, I mean, screaming meme. It Mimi. definitely screaming looks Mimi. Like his art. Oh yeah, it's all it's all Simcoe, for sure. Definitely Simcoe. You mean like concept wise though? Concept wise, I think he helped design the, the mad balls are going to come out that are GPK heads. Is what I was oh, saying there. Right, right. Yeah, which are coming out later, I believe, if they come out right. Yeah. So, oh, I forgot to show the back. Sorry, we'll go to the back of these. Duel with the dumpster. It's pretty nice. I like that. It's pretty nice. Like <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> so the back looks like Jason Crosby. That does not look like. That looks like his work. Let me, let me change my tune there because that looks like Jason's on the back and Joe's done the front cover art. So the backs are that's are true. Jason, who, who did the comics, who did the comic artwork. Yeah, it's a clear yeah. difference. Yeah, I think that's him. Looks like him. He's, he's a pretty, pretty awesome artist, a so good comic artist. Yeah. There's only one eye in fight. Okay. Ha ha. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um, the cover art, Bobby, was done by several different artists. Depends, you know, some were, some were done by uh, Crosby, some were done by other artists, some were just, you know. Most of them I saw, though, were most variants were done by Simcoe, I think, though. Like, these are all Simcoe's. I love the little newspapers, man. You can tell by the painting, those hands in here. Yeah. But these are all, I'd say, Crosby. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's cool to have a silk cloud, but you know, it's very, yep. very thin. But it was a promo. It was a promo, so you're supposed to get this with like another product you open. So I mean, I get that. Nice pack, I like the wax pack feel, and they put that giant cardboard backer in there. You can draw your own card. There you go. Right, right. Oh wow, you still have them. You have your original had, Mad Balls. Oh, my God. I had the little mummy guy for, like, the longest time, but it just deteriorated. I, let me see which one I had. I can remember it. I don't think I had a horn head. I had a different one. I may have had a horn head, but I I don't know. I think I got a zombie one or something. I think I had the zombie one or something like that. There was a zombie one. I can't. I don't know the name of it. I have to, I have to look it up and show the pictures and be like, that's the one. I didn't have too many. I had like one or two at most. Yeah, I think I had two of them. But one yeah. of them like went away really quickly. I can reseal the pack now. I can just get your iron out and seal it now. 
<laughs> there you go. Can't tell. Yay. You could. I mean, the wax is so thick on there, Drew. You actually really could reseal these. Yeah, these, I, I saw a bunch of like flakes. Yeah, no, no. There's it's definitely like a like a candle heavy wax there. They like, like dip them or something. <laughs> but anyway, very cool. They probably do do some kind of weird dipping though, or laminate process on the one side once they print them. I'd love the one day to go up there and see that process. I've been invited to go up there and take a look at it, but I, it's so far. <laughs> like that's I'd great. love to, but yeah, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. So anyway, yeah. that's cool. If you guys didn't want to open yours and uh, want you got a pack, that's what it looked like inside. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome cards. Love the wax feel. Now it's all of my hands. Ah. Let's see. My parents bribed me for every one. Every one he got. Oh, so you had to do what kind of what kind of chores you have to do to, to get one? I mean, every A. Oh, every like, A I got in school. Okay, I heard probably for every A I got mad. Well, okay, okay. Dude, that's funny. Uh, nice. I got super into collecting Good GPK right there at the beginning in those in the eighties, and my mom told me if I got straight A's on my report card, she'd buy me ten packs, and I said. Make it 20. <laughs> Make it 20 packs. Bruh, I pulled through. That's cool. And so she so did she, bruh. She came through with made it. packs. Nice. 20 and that's packs. How I got mm. my Didn't cost her much death. then. Did not cost her yeah. very much back then. Now mm, I'll need 20, Good. 20 hobby boxes now. It's like <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Put me up here. So it was expensive back then, though, right? Like, <laughs> well, in context, yeah, because I remember, I remember buying baseball cards like in 1990. Like, I cooked it for, That's for a little bit, but and um, less for like two dollars. No way. So I went to do comics. I collected comics for because comics were like one twenty five, right. one one dollar, right. that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. and then that lasted a couple of years and then that stopped, but you know, and now look what we do now. We're like, Oh, a hundred bucks for a collective box. Pretty good. All right. <laughs> what happened? Uh, what happened to us? Yeah, I know. It was cheap. Negotiations is right. Yeah. That's a man. Book. Yeah. Well, man, these, um, these wanted stickers are, a sticker form of those you remember the posters we opened a couple of streams back we had those wanted posters from they were originally like inspired artwork from 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 stuff we saw later in the gpk series they're like the back art and yeah. i've not really looked at these so yeah we opened uh guys we opened some of these before i have a few more of these but we opened these and these are the poster versions and they came about the same time as these but these are the sticker cards so uh, i got a few packs of these i want to check them out there's different art on these too joe so there's like different art so and these are from around circa 75, I think. So um, that's cool. Damn. Yeah, circa 75 on these. Uh, I got two little surprises over here, too. We'll get to those when we're done with these. But let's take a look at them. You know, I don't plan to eat the gum this time because we've already done that. I've already ate 75 gum. So it's no big thrill to me. You know, no bucket list for there for me. You know. So, yeah. I mean, who knows? So right on the back here is looks like the signature card from the other pack, from this pack right here, the the big brother, or kid brother, sorry. Okay, there's some gum on the back of this one. The gum doesn't look too bad. That does not look that bad, honestly. That does not look bad for seventy-five. Not at all. I've eaten far worse. Okay, cards are a little thin, and a little damaged. Actually, look at something chewed on them. Something chewed on in there. It wasn't me. It was <laughs> maybe it came out of someone's attic. I don't know, man. Like maybe some mice got a hold of it or something. I don't know. Oh, you can wow. see the scut. You can see the wax residue. Yeah. Eat them. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll eat some gum in a minute. But not, I don't want to eat it, man. There might be. I might be sharing this gum with the, some vermin. I don't know, man. This is kid yeah, brother. I don't know, man. Kid brother, you can write your name here. All right. Yeah, so it's basically like a mini. Like a mini version. Let me let me kill my kill my my camera here so you can see the full picture. There we go. Um, like a mini poster, man. That's what it is. Like a mini poster card. So, 
Could being be. a stool pigeon, telling parents everything his older brother does, always leaving a hidden roller skate on the scare case. Okay. 1975. Yeah, definitely 75. So yeah, like a mini version of that on the back. Oh wow. So nothing wow. but just just it's a sticker. So it's just a blank, like the wacky packages. I think on the old days they had these these brown backs to them. Yeah, that might be it might rodent urine on the card. Yeah, it wasn't originally yellow. <laughs> Salad books <laughs> killing. Might be, man. Might be. This one looks rough. Who's the next few look better? Look at they look better. Look at this dude, Joe. Chain smoker. Wow. Love it. I got a strong wacky package feel on that one. That Maybe. is that's straight up 70s right there, bro. It is, man. Gambling with his health. Arson, he burns up carpets, clothes, and everybody around him. Yeah, right now Very he's nice. in McDonald's. Look at him. Yeah, he is. I, that's a great picture, man. <laughs> I like that. That's a great piece of work. I wish they'd re release this, this kind of set. On the back, okay, it's brown the back, too. So they're brown back out there if they were all like that. But Very cool. And this one doesn't have any teeth. Yeah. Well, maybe a little teeth mark. Come here. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Still, very cool car. I like that. All right, here we go. Next one. You can kind of see before I get there. Let's see. Principal, what is going on here, man? Holy heck. So, wait, so think about that. There's that principal card back from uh, Back Art and, and GPK, the original series. Is it series five or three or four? I, I'm losing my track. It's not four. It's maybe five or six. There's some Back Art, and I'm losing – my mind, which the bookcase is similar. The bookcase is like that guy. It was a principal card too. And he's bending the whip. I was like, is that, that, that one like, it's like for a horse or whatever? Yeah, it's like, like a whip thing. <laughs> like wow. Oh no, no, man. He's, he's got a lot going on there. I don't like the way he's looking at you, man. I don't either, man. He's creepy as hell. Look at him. <laughs> Oh God, he he looks, he's somewhere between like Larry King and Ape and like, he's like, I don't know. He's got, what's wrong with his head? Him out, dude. What's going on with his head? What is that? It's like a knot on his head. He's a, he's a cone head. I guess so. refusing to let girls wear lipstick or long eyelashes, ordering short haircuts for boys, Send, sending for parents are his crimes there. Okay. Yep. Wanted for brainwashing. <laughs> there you go. I didn't read the one thing on the other one too. Wanting for a pollute in the atmosphere like that. <laughs> Better take care of me. That's a creepy car, man. And then the final car in the pack was this. Uh, I guess it's just a checklist. And there's like a back, maybe like a, maybe you're building a poster puzzle Ooh, piece. What? Yeah, he looks like a. You're right. Sad boy's right. Planet of the Apes character, yes. kind of. But yeah, I don't like know, that man. Bottom. Yeah, the jaws, the jaws down I here are like that, the, the elongated in the ears. Yeah, it and really the hands does. Are small, look. weird. I'm gonna find the card though. I'll find the principal card I'm talking about. Like some of that echoes it, but it's not the same. Like the character is totally different. The other guy looks like Hitler. So the your bolster is probably like one of these, right? I mean. The teacher or whatever, like, like a one teaching? of those. Maybe I don't know. Teacher's name right. here. Maybe it's a giant poster to in, in, indict your teacher for crimes. I'm gonna guess. All right. Just to, just to guess. I don't know. There is 42 cards in this set, so we're not gonna get them all tonight. But here's a checklist to some of them, I guess. So there's a mailman. I shouldn't probably go over them all, but like anyway, there's like a regular a regular card. This is regular card stock, like baseball card stock. Add that to the list here, dude. I, I'm really close to getting a dinosaurs box. Oh, that'd be awesome to get a box of those. Are crazy. Um, yeah, I call them that. Okay, I got another pack of these. I got two. I got two more packs of these things. So I got a good deal on these. They, sometimes people want a lot of money for them, but they're oh they shouldn't God. be very expensive. They uh, oh god, look at this. There's a, that must be the back of the teacher's face. For there the you go. Oh there my god. You. <laughs> gorgeous. You saw <laughs> solve the solve the mystery, man, right there. Very wacky package, man. It's very got some gum on the front of this one. Take that off. 
That's crazy. She's got that beauty mark. Got the beauty mark and everything. So yeah, haunt your nightmares, Joe. Look at there. I'll put this in your box, Joe. Let me know. <laughs> you get that PSA graded right there. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, now wait a minute. It is a repeat. I was wrong about that. So this is one of the posters. You remember this one? The big sister poster where she's wow. taking up the bathroom time. So I would go. Maybe we're gonna see some overlap, which I would imagine we would, right? Some one where she's in the bathroom too long, not introducing her boyfriend, those kind of things. So that's cool. That's cool. Oh wow. Candy store owner for Penny Larceny. Hilarious. Oh, sorry. I'm getting the camera there. Look at that dude. Creepy again. Wow. Oh, the print's super small. I'll try to read it for you. For interfering uh, with freedom of choice by having a very small candy selection and for interfering with freedom of press by not letting customers sit in his store reading his comics. Okay. Candy store owner. But besides that, the artwork's amazing. It's very cool. <sighs> it's fine, it's man. Nice. Give me it's a kiss, nice. big girl. Those are measles. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. I'm sorry. I just saw your comment. I I marks. Well, I'm probably wrong about that. Beetle marks aren't usually red looking. I mean, that's that's what chewed on the pack, on the first pack. There's, there's, look at that. Like rat teeth. <laughs> chewed on the first pack. That's right. <laughs> and then I then I've got a duplicate. I got principal again, I think. Yeah, I got principal again. So oh Joe, I know where it's gonna go, man. Let's go oh, home. <laughs> no teeth marks on this one, so that's cool. It's great. <laughs> man. Oh, I, I wonder if there's one a full size poster of that guy. A full size poster of this guy? Yeah, I don't know. I bet you there could be. There could be. Right. We got a, I got a few more packs and we I mean we got I got a few more packs we can try. I mean, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm bazooka has it all. Here's the back. It's the back of the pack. I didn't really show you guys this, but just a bazooka gum advert there. Like, hey, come if you like our fracker stale, terrible gum in here, come check out bazooka. It's even better, you know. Like, do you remember having this gum back in the 80s when it was fresh? Do you remember it? Yeah. Yep. It never was like anything special. It was still hard. It was still bad. <laughs> You know, they, they, uh, but they still, but they talk about this stuff like back in the fifties or the sixties with the baseball yeah. era, where they were still selling them, right? They're still selling gum. They're like, kids will buy it because there's gum in it, and there's cards yeah. too. I'm like, they'll probably buy it for the cards. Like that time frame, I don't know. Is anybody buying these for the gum? Man, if you are, you need to go see the candy store owner again. I mean, this guy could probably hook you up with something better still, even if he's <laughs> so mean. I mean. Jeez, there's always been better gum than this stuff. Ugh. I don't know. Oh, Let's see. Guys. We're getting there. Let's see here. I'm going to try to get the gum off. Got something new. All right. I'm trying to give them one at a time so we don't look at them. All right. Wanted for Malice Mischief. Big Brother. The Big Brother card. All right. Hold on a second. I got two, two, two cards here. This is the Big Brother card. Which they should have the little kid brother beside him, not the different kid. No. Consistency. Here's the kid brother. <laughs> this guy's adopted. All right. Anyway, this guy. No, this guy. No, that's that guy's adopted. He's ready. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It, who knows? Hmm. Different family, right? Whatever. So he's a uh, <laughs> abuse of power, taking candy from a baby, obviously. Pretty easy. There's like roller marks on this, Joe. Look, look at that. Look at the texture. See that texture? Cards like texture. I didn't see that. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the light there, but it's kind of... Is it just like residue or grooved? It feels like grooves. It's like a, like a roller went over it with grooves. It's kind of weird. Um, his other crimes are destruction of property, abusing the clothes I have to wear next year. So I guess the hand-me-downs, right? And warning, he walks loudly and carries a big fist. Okay. All right. Well, again, wacky package feeling there a little bit. Still brown-backed. All right. Next, uh, what do we have next? Um, telephone operator for illegal connections. 
cutting you off without a dime, invasion of privacy, listening in on intimate conversations. You know, for her next novel. This reminds me more of like a non-talk. Yep. That doesn't remind me of Wacky Packers. It reminds me of something different. I don't know. Like a like one of these other knockoffs we've seen. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Interesting. Interesting. All right. And then let's yeah, see what oh so our proposal piece is just another piece of this. Yeah, not as good as this one. Your favorite one, Joe. And then I had a duplicate of uh, Big Sister again in that pack, so I didn't show that one, but that's Big Sister. So. That, that upper lip, bro. Yeah, man. That's that's thing of nightmares. Thing of nightmares. Yeah, this uh, one's uh, like probably Jesse Raphael kind of feel to the glasses and all that. Her, her younger days before she got got the TV, TV show. <laughs> is that like a microphone boom there? What is that? Yeah, headset boom. Look at the headset boom. Look at the 1975 technology of the microphone boom. That's crazy. Yeah, like a bell. <laughs> nice. Hello. All right. So those are interesting. I'd like to have more of them or maybe just a full set to look at. Uh, the packs get a little pricey if you buy too many for the wrong person, but yeah, I mean, that's uh, interesting. Interesting cards. Very thin, very, very sticker-like for sure. They meant these to be like Almost sticker book thin, like you put in sticker books, but interesting. And the gum, let's see the gum. I mean, the gum will have one piece. I mean, why not? And you guys asked for it. Let's see. Ah. Oh. Uh, I've been here before. I can hear you. <laughs> Good call, man. <laughs> You remember Porky's? Yeah, the measles looks like it's Jim. Okay, we should have a picture to pull up for that. I don't have a picture to pull up for that. We'll have to confirm that. We'll have to come back to that. You remember that, Joe? It's a good, good call on that. Let's see. We got some other stuff that might be interesting. So, oh, I regret that decision for a while. Just ruins the whole night. Joe, I don't have anything flavor. I just have water. God. Why do we do it? It's crazy. You can so, totally hear it, man. After we opened these last time, so we opened some of these last time. Remember, these were pretty interesting. We got a few more, but I had to look around, and there's two other series for these. So there's a 1980s, 1980 series, like 1980 exactly, I believe. We'll look on the back. Here's one of those, and guess who's on it? You see who's on it, right? Yeah. Same guy we had on these. Which uh -huh. you guys hair? He got his hair dyed in between, so 80s was rough for him. Oh, bruh. There's different stuff going in the background, too. Slightly. It's like, a, like he changed his shirt here from here. And then like a, uh, this is this guy, this guy changed his shirt color. I don't know. Yeah. But these posters are from 1980, I believe, roughly. We'll look on the back and confirm that. 1980. Wow. Yeah. Look, I paid, did my research. There we go. So I've got one of these. You got some 75. Still got four of those. And I got a 1968 one. Look at this. Five cents. Nice. Wow. That's the oldest gum I could possibly eat, I think. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. He's right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> what you know, like that's on my list, right? You're like, oh, I got to do that. <laughs> oh, no, I wanna, let's see what the 80s poster looks like, man. Let's see what's in this one. So you get one poster and one stick of gum. So, comparatively, the size is bigger, man. Look at this. Way bigger. Yeah. Or maybe it's folded differently, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, wow. way bigger package than that one. And these are about the size of the ones from the 70s. So, so yeah. So, let's check this one out. Yeah. Glass blade. So, these made into the 80s just barely. I don't know if they made it any further than the 1980s. But, let's see. Let's see. Not full of goodies. No rat droppings in this one. It's good so far. I'm not eating the, the gum's a little shattered. If you remember before, all our gum was pristine in the 1975 packs I had. But I'll tell you, they're not in the new ones, I noticed. But so there's some 1980 gum from Mikey Posters. <laughs> Bite pieces for me, I don't really want to deal with right now. And then they're stained. They're all stained. Look. Well, <laughs> anyway. 
Let's see what poster we got. I'll have to move the camera a little bit. Let's see here. It can take how much how many packs of gum I have on this desk that are nasty. Just listen around. All right. It's taking forever. Open it. Whoa. What's your poster? Wait a minute. Are these reprints? I think the top looks different. Wanted. I think the top looks different, dude. But like it's the butcher guy you like from last time. Yeah, it's like keeping a thumb on the scale, selling horse meat, making hamburger 9% fat, bone, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's the butcher guy. So they reused a poster from 75 and put him in 1980. Yes. Yeah. I, I swear the top's different. I can't reach the posters from last time. Maybe we'll get hit one in a minute. They're uh, up on a shelf up there, but like that, just that's the only difference is that the top looks a little different. Yeah, that's definitely from the '75 set. So there might there might be reprints. Cool. Might be just reprint year. And they did a lot of that. Think about that. They did a lot of the tops, a lot of reprint stuff. So let's open these before we open the the '68 one. Maybe we'll hit that butcher one and can look at it again. These are virtually open. Like this one is. Oh, I'll just fold it back for them. It'll be fine. Let's see what we got here. Gum. Pristine, as you as you'd imagine. These are all busted up. 100%. I'm gonna send you a box just full of old gum, Joe. It's gonna be just pulverized pieces of gum. Yeah, just like use it for packing material. There you go. Yep. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, so here's our guy from the from the pack on the other one, here. Right? Wanted for hit and run. Class bully. That's his name. Class bully. Dang, bro. Yeah, here's, his, here's his artwork like we saw in the front. I didn't even pay attention to the brass knuckles, man. I've been like moving. Oh, wow. Look at, Look at the brass knuckles. Very cool. That guy is so, real. So they did a spoof of him in one of the old school series, I believe. Could be wrong, but I think it's one of the more recent ones. They did him. They called unwanted stickers, and he was he's busy tearing up the stickers from the wanted series. So he's tearing up all the posters and stickers. Pretty funny. Hilarious. Yeah, making fun of their own stuff. A class bully. Also, for the following crimes, picking fights with smaller kids. That means everyone, because he's a big ox. Torturing animals, cats, dogs, teachers. Tying girls' pigtails into square knots. And caution, we'll start fight the drop of a hat. Do not repeat. Do not repeat, repeat. Do not drop your hat. Okay. <laughs> oh, I like this one. It looks good. Yeah, it's, it's cool. cool. It's barely framed in the poster, too. Like, the whole artwork goes right to the edge. Like the other one, so I like that. Pretty yes. neat. Pretty, so that's cool. God, we got one we didn't have already over here, so that's nice. Put them over here. Let's get to the next one. Let's see what we got. Christine gum. Piece of it there. Hmm. This is not moldy gum. You know, we saw a lot of nasty moldy gum from the 80s, so... Ooh. Oh, I don't think I have this one either. Nation <laughs> Primes, I already like it. I already like it. It's hilarious. Okay, look at this. Uh, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. Next door neighbor. No, new one. Next door neighbor. Really cool also, looking art. Guilty of the following crimes. Yes. Also guilty of the following crimes. We're crashing all parties in the neighborhood for spying yeah. on everyone from the window. For yeah. breaking the sound barrier with the TV set at 2 a.m. And for complaining when others do the same. Danger. This criminal is capable of borrowing everything you own and probably not returning it. Oh, look at this. Get the pencil and the pen, to, a, a, a pad and a pen just to write down like yeah, yeah. what they're seeing. So and so did the do on Saturday. Yep. They ought to redo these, man. They ought to redo these or do some new ones. Pretty fun. I don't know if he's doing posters. Cards would be cool. It'll yeah. Be Chat in 806 front yard. Yep. Airstrike. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Wanted for an invasion of privacy. Very nice. Very cool looking one. We all know someone like that, Joe. I don't like it. Pack three. I'm excited. We haven't hit any dupes yet on the posters. I'm kind of excited. I'm going to hit one now that I said that. Oh, God. It's all stuck on there and stained. 
Not PSA grade material, man. Very dusty. I don't know. They turn off for that. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Yep. Yeah. Is this, this one we already have? It might be. Looks like it. Yep. It's the slob one. So, wanted for health hazard. This is the slob guy. Which remind me again of like the Archie comic style a little bit too much. Like it doesn't remind me of GPK or Wackies as much. I don't know what's. But you know, these artists work for all different companies. So, never know. Slob. So, this guy again was the uh, impersonating a garbage dump, attracting insects as far away as Afghanistan, wearing clothes from East European care packages, <laughs> and reward reward for his capture is 5,000 bars or so. Okay. Not sure why you need the soap when he needs the soap, so I don't know why they give him the soap. But is he Richie Itchy? Is he does he inspire Richie Itchy a little bit with the with the bug? Totally, man. From OS one, I mean, maybe look at the bugs. I'm telling you, bugs look similar. At least the bugs on him. So, yeah, yep. maybe never know. All right, final pack from seventy five, and then we'll get to our seventy eight pack. No, 68 pack. Sorry. 68. Pretty sure. Let's see. Is it 68? Does it say? I'm almost positive it's 68, but it didn't say on the back. So but that's that's when they came out. So all right. Looks weird. What's this? Kind of looks different there. I'm just maybe it's how it's printed right there. I don't know. Oh, I don't think we have this guy, do we? Father. I think we have mother, but we don't have father. Wanted for aggravated assault. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this. Look at this, Joe. Damn. <laughs> they would never release this today. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they would never do it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Lee. Love it. <laughs> oh, Paul. <laughs> Dang, dude. Refusing to increase allowances is a crime. Doing kids' homework incorrectly. <laughs> Smelling up the house with foul cigar smoke. Drowning out the TV with loud snoring. That was me today, man. I was out. I, I woke myself up. I snored so loud on the couch, man. I woke myself up. Look at my man. Oh, my God. I love it. I love the tear. I mean, they, they would put some love into this one, man. Look at that. They were like, yep, I got this one. <laughs> I got this one, and he's beating with like a, like a those old brushes you'd have in the shower, like the oh, old like a soap brush or whatever. Like well, soap brushes, yeah, they don't even have, they have those anymore. But like I remember those things, yeah. Damn, it's scrubbing really. your back in, right? Scrubbing your back is a back yeah, scrub. Brush. Yeah, that kid's face. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Pretty accurate. I love it. I was like, I feel like, yep. <laughs> Whatever's oh, cool. It's so good. We gotta find out who did these. I'm not real clear on who did the artwork, but um, it's a little research, a little more. I should probably figure that out. They're pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. That so that's from the. That's from the. I, I'm really happy with that. Only one dupe, and uh, got some really awesome posters. There. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, it was just savage back then, right? It's just better. Uh, more honest. So one, these have five cents on them. Do the old ones have a price on them? No, there's no price on these. No price on these. So I don't know what they cost back then. Not very much. 68. Oh, man. I don't remember what I paid for this one. It was not free. That's like <laughs> born, bro. That's crazy. Sealed. Really good. There's, there's a roller. So it doesn't look resealed from my eyes. But you never know. I think these are around 25 a pack. Honestly, I think that's what they run somewhere around there. I don't know what I paid, but that's about what they run. Damn. So they're higher. Yeah, well, 68, you start getting, man, it's getting pretty old, right? For uh, for cards, at least. That's older than me. Shoot. Here's one. Yeah, well. Might be the oldest pack we've opened on this this, this uh, stream, man. I think it is. I would say so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Tell me that's not gum. Please, God. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whoa, I'm just kidding. Whoa, whoa. I know it kind of looked like it. You're like, what? <laughs> Rick, Bruce, go. No. There's the go. Oh, wow. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look that bad. 
Look at that. It's not that bad. It looks in pink. Here, so here's the 75. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, it's not, it's not looking that bad. Still, though, it's just going to be like... <laughs> 78. No, 68. Trying to break my teeth. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> A little waft of it. Oh, okay. You know, the... Pulling all the flavor. Taste. I'm good. fine. Whatever. Whatever. Taste those years. <laughs> Look at yeah. Mm. Well, you turned <laughs> at the right time. Sure looks good. Yeah, hey, Trenton. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just <laughs> how, how old is it that? Uh, you know, what am I eating this? And how old is it? Pretty much is this game. Oh, another piece. <laughs> he went back for seconds. Yeah. I mean, why not? Good. <laughs> There's something in me telling me stop. But I'll lick your plate, sir. Yes. Joe, I'll send you the other half of this, man. The other half's going in the box. There you go. Trent, I've got a little piece for you too. If you like a piece, I have to eat the packing. It's not that bad. It's uh, it's not as bad as um some of the other. Pieces I've had for some reason. Um, right, right. You're going to be resistant to every known virus on the planet. God, I hope so. Yeah. Or they're going to develop some new ones. Yeah, it's like 50 plus years old. That's right. Yeah, That's right. dude. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Dude. Pretty old. If I can get like some wow. older gum, it'd be great. I'm trying to set the bar, man. Set the bar oh. higher. You know, I've seen people online yeah. eating gum, like oh, yeah. these guys who eat this sports card gum. They're like whining about how nasty it is. It's really just powdery, man. It's not, it didn't congeal in anything. I think if it got like tacky and gummy, it'd be kind of freaky. But it's just like eating a Pop Tart that's really old and dusty. An it's a little tart. Pop. Like an old Pop Tart. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, right. You yeah. just stick it right there. I'm not a picky eater, obviously. I, I eat whatever, I guess. Let's look at the poster, man. <laughs> while I still can, while, while my vision's still with us, right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway that's cool about very funny the 1968 piece of gum from wacky posters here's the side in the back oh here we go i love it here's some instructions these others didn't have this so hang them in your room or give them to your friends Clip the point look at your friends are mad your friend is pissed off he got the poster yeah because i mean you know what the heck? you know why dad uses the soap brush on me why you give me this Wanted it doesn't say which one it is for teacher. It just says this one just says teacher. It's not like he gave him an offensive poster to him. I mean, look, he looks pissed off. All right, your, your friend sucks. You got a dumb friend. Ungrateful. Yeah. <laughs> Ungrateful, man. Joe, you need to recreate that. I'm gonna send you a poster of these. You need to like to recreate that that guy. You got a red shirt. You need to put on a red little polo polo right. shirt thing with a white collar. Okay. Good luck with that. And then uh, that's tough. You know what's funny? I used to have one. <laughs> I you don't have to cut your hair, though. You don't have to cut your hair for that. Man. Just, just Bro, I have a picture of me wearing that shirt. Do you? <laughs> I got to find it. Wow. Yes, and I want to point this chat highlight, highlight this chat out, is it does say, this is very true, that the gum, Google says chewing gum. He's been Googling. Thank you for your ch checking my safety here. It does not have an expiration date as long as it's stored properly. But I don't know how it was stored. To be fair, it could still be fairly toxic. But there's nothing growing on it that I could see. And look, man, I've seen some of the gum that has mold on it and looks like it's melted. Ah, don't touch that. But this looks fine. It's that fine. Look at it. Good. Yeah, Tops would never release that today. Hey, Mark. Good to see you out there. You just missed it. Oh, the, oh, the paper's even older. This is like just straight up paper. So this is like a laminated, a little more coated paint, barely more coated, but this is straight up like brown newspaper. 
It's a 1968 wanted posters pack. Yeah, collection. that's legit. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> that doesn't look good at all. I didn't Ooh. see that earlier. Oh, I'll try it. I've always tried the gum like like the classic ones. Yeah. It's a whole nother level, man. Whole nother level. So I've tried the 85 pack, series one pack. Gum. That yeah. was good. I have my stack over here just sitting there. Yeah, you're getting it. So you want some too? Yeah, she wants some gum. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Wanted yeah, for disturbing the peace. The garbage man. How how much that's perfect. Very mad. Very mad. Very mad magazine -y, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Vibes, same artist that did the father and some of the other, you can tell by the line work. Like, that's the same uh -huh. guy. Right, that, yep, I see it. Well, from the same line work as the father. I'll show you again. See, kind of, it's the father from the 75 set. Yeah. Oop, sorry. Not set up, we set up to show cards, not, not posters. But yeah, anyway. Like it, really good artwork. So the garbage man, which is appropriate for what we do here, right? Also, guilty for the following crimes of shattering the garbage on the sidewalk, or scattering, not shattering, scattering the garbage, blending new garbage cans, bending them out of shape, leaving cans halfway down the block. Okay. Wow, very cool poster. Really old one too. Yeah, different feel too. Definitely more yellowed. Totally greasy. Very cool. I don't know what these run, what they're worth or anything, but, um, you know, probably not a fortune. But but these are almost, like, new, I'm feeling, in 75. Very neat. The gun artwork's great. Yeah, I like yeah. this. Very cool. I hope to see some more of these. Maybe I can find some more one day. We'll bring them back. Maybe we'll bring them back again. We'll revisit them when we find some more sometime. It'll be kind of cool. I'm going to put this gum to the side, though. This gum's going over here. A 68 gum, guys. Snack on that later when I get hungry tonight. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have one more thing, Joe. I want to go. It's like blast from the past week here. It's like, let's just look at older stuff. But this is much newer. Much, much yeah. newer. Yeah. Brand new Series 2 Blaster. We called them Blaster Boxes then, right? I think we did. Um... Four packs, one bonus sticker. So you get a bonus card right out of the bat in here. But I think it was limited. Only certain bonus cards came out of this, and some bonus cards came out of the hobby boxes and so on. And then there was jumbo packs that came out of two. And I think from my experience when I opened these back in 2012, you only got like certain ones out of certain ones. So you're not going to find like a really awesome one in certain ones. I don't remember what comes of these though. So more new art than all. Here's the odds and all that. I won't go into all that. You know what the odds are. They're bad. These have the glow in the dark cards in them, and they nice. had the little standy ones. They had the standy cards so you can like bend them and make them stand up. So, right pretty on. cool set. Special set to me because this is when I really got back into collecting them with a friend of mine. So we got back into collecting in brand new series too. So that's awesome. I really, I really like this set. Um, Good old being don't kill team. Adam! Don't kill Adam! Watch, watch, watch. Gently, gently carve around Adam's face. <laughs> Cool. I know. I know. A lot of knives going on. A stabbing. What were these? Were they 10 bucks, 20 bucks when they were in the store? I don't remember. I think I got too many of these. I think I got a couple of these and I got more jumbo packs and I got I got one like retail box when I was started collecting that. So yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I have one BNS hobby. One BNS hobby? Yep. Yeah, the purple oh, one. Oh, pricey now. BNS hobbies are expensive. Now, these cards are. So this box goes for like 90 bucks, I think, now. It's kind of kind of stupid. Expensive. Yeah, that's crazy. But it shouldn't. It shouldn't. So there's your little security tag. There you go. Let's see what's in here. I'm going to leave the bonus card in there. I don't know what it is. I see it's in there. I'm going to put it over the side. So it's, it's, it's in cellophane by itself. So we'll open these first and I'll pull. We'll see. We'll see what the cellophane is. So, oh, man. Takes me back. I like these. So you get 10 cards per pack. So 40 cards, 41 cards. Technically. 
It's not bad, but you only get four packs, so. Sketch cards are in these. Plates. I think autographs are in these. I don't recall. Maybe not. I don't remember seeing any autos, but maybe they were. And they're die cut. Oh, wow. They're die cut cards. Look at this. Back in 2012, we had the technology, man. Wow. That's Please just come back to this. Uh, magnets were introduced in the series. I believe they're introduced. Um, oh, there was a magnet series that Mark Pinotor did. Um, go to gpk.com and he, he has a whole breakdown of that. I'll look up in a minute. I can't remember. It was around this time frame. It was around the same time frame. They did a separate set that were magnets. They were not included with the trading cards or the stickers. They were their own set. And there was only like a couple of those in there. And they came with candy. Came with a candy eyeball or something like that. Right. Yeah, but Mark, Mark had done this independently. Um, but yeah, die cut. Oh, here we go. It's a good card. Always like this one. Yeah, And those were like the full-size card magnets, right? Yes, full-size card magnets. <laughs> right. And serial killers had some, yeah, different different mm -hmm. setups. But yeah, there was a few like that. But they didn't include magnets with the actual printing cards, I don't believe, and down the lines that I recall. I've got one downstairs, I think, on one of my fridges. <laughs> I got the Adam Bob one stuck over there somewhere. Brent Brendan. You're going to see a lot of Brent Engstrom in here, a lot of Simcoe. Ron will be in a few of these. Um, very little David Gross. I think there's like one day, one or two David Gross cards. And it's some Panator. Parmesan. Parmesan. Here's, here's your Hunter Biden card. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, here's a Foldy. Here's the Foldies. I'm not going to fold them, but you get the idea. You can fold it and make them stand up and do stuff. Fold, make me fold. I don't know. They were trying everything, you know. Foldies. Make yeah. thing you knew. Pretty good art. Good thick card stock. Yeah. Where we should be today. <laughs> you know, I'm loving the art. I mean, the art's fantastic in this wood. set. Yeah. Definitely got me back into it. Yeah, the art's great. Look, it has that OS1 feel pack. I mean, even though it's BNS2, I know. I love the BNS2 era. I like the BNS1, two. Um, the detail on the line back there? Yeah, look yeah. at that. The line is cool. Yeah, guess who made that card? Okay, real close. See if you can guess. Mm. I'm not positive. I have an idea. Looks like uh, LeRon did that. But it has elements of Bunk in it in the face of the character. But I, I, I was just really looking at the face. I was thinking Bunk. It feels but, like bunk, but I don't think it doesn't. But the rest <laughs> of it not his style, so I don't have enough experience with Leron. Ooh, it's close. Uh, it could be him. I don't think it's bunk. I think it's Leron, but it could be. I could be wrong. That could be bunk. Mm -hmm. Bobby out there, <laughs> you might know. I have to look it up. It's real close, but the detail on the on the line is a little different from what I would expect from bunk. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that one out. I'm going to say it's not Bunk. Oh, the back of the cards, too. I, I should have highlighted that. So the back of these, puzzle you know, puzzle backs, award backs, like the old school award backs are on these, comic backs on them. I mean, just a good overall set. Yeah, more puzzle backs there. Picture Pierre. Hit mitt. Good good one there. Oh, here's a great one. So here's the Hulk, you know, we're done by Ingstrom here. So they banned us from doing Marvel cards um, by the time I got on, ser on sets. But like Marvel cards are, are no no for a while because of Disney owning it. But what a great card. I did a I did a one of these uh, as as a fan art years ago, but what an incredible card. <laughs> yeah. So here's uh, let me ask the bunk. Yeah, I don't remember that one. There is some bunk in this set. I just don't see him. But he's definitely in series one. Game over. 
did one of him for the most recent set for the for the uh, kids that play some of the the shape cards where they have the game console. Did one of these. It's a bunk. So JQ checked. It's a bunk. Well, that's a lot of detail for a bunk. The face says bunk to me. The lion does not. But the coloring on the arms, of the lion felt like bunk to me. Really weird. That's, that's a really cool. detailed drawing for him to do the hair like that. But he surprised you sometimes. You will. Very cool. Tom Bunk. Thanks for checking that, JQ. That's awesome. Yeah, I like this card. Um, pretty basic but i always liked it Made me laugh. and i love these here's the black borders oh i love black border cards man yeah i don't what? have any of those those are cool i have a whole series I, I built a set of these for, for brand new series three just by pulling packs no kidding so brett, yeah brett Tal. so this is a revisit of classic characters in a different scenario you know oliver twisted from os2 <laughs> Yep. Cool. Oh, here's the protest in Preston. Here's the anti-nuke, anti-war kind of atom bomb they had in the series. Gargoyle Doyle. I love this character. I like to do him a lot. It's a lot one I like to draw sometimes. I'll put a little more light on him, but yeah, awesome, awesome artwork in here. You said this was two, oh, right? BNS two. Yep. Nasty Nick, also known as Garlic Rick, which I love this card. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Garlic oh, Rick. Dead Ted to wrap it up, man. Dead Ted. So these are the revisits. The Dead Ted is the pizza man. And then you got Nasty Nick eating the pizza. It's garlicky, you know. Which, it's a pretty bad pizza there. Yeah. I really liked that hot sauce. Oh, the hot sauce yet? Yeah? yeah, I never got any of that. Yeah, like a, the Nasty Nick one was like a garlic hot sauce. Oh, yeah? It was pretty good. Robed Rob. Colleen Scream. And look at look at this. I want you guys to know something else. Look at the no dupes. No duplicates in here. So if I might hit some, I know. But look at how the quality of the, of the packing here is great. There's no damage to the cards. Right. There's no roller marks. They're all just nice. They're all crisp. Oh, I love this card. <laughs> I've done him as a sketch user. I did I did one of these for late to school because it just made sense. Yeah, darn Disney for sure. Disney ruined a lot of a lot of uh, well, tops back in the day got worried about their affiliation with them and losing losing contracts, right? Getting sued and losing contracts. <coughs> oh, Star Wars. <coughs> She's not going too well. Toy Trish. Brainy Janie. Revisit Brainy Janie. Right? Good artwork. Oh, wait a minute, guys. We got something here. This is a glow in the dark card. See the texturing? Oh. Let, me see if I can, let me see if we can charge it up. I'll kill the lights on one of these and see. Let me charge it. And kill the lights. If you guys can see if we can do this. Freemason symbol? Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Too, much. Too much. Hold on. Let me charge it again. Almost can see it. I love going the dark cards. And I just another reason I love this set. Let me see. Let me give it a minute here. For some shadow puppets. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, see if we can do it then. Uh, I don't think it's going to be able to pick it up. I don't even pick it up. Let me see here. Um, let me play a camera trick. Let's do some camera tricks. Want that? I really want this to show up. Let me charge it for a while. I'm doing the camera tricks here. Let me figure this out. Mm. Looking at the wrong technology. Let's see what we can do here. Um, turn down the brightness all the way, maybe. Be a winner. That's not BNS2, is it? Yeah, I don't think. I don't 
think so. That might be three. Oh, this is like 2014 S2. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I probably can't get it to shine enough. I'm going to buy it. Use the UV. I mean, you think it'll work? I don't have the UV portable light, right? I think it's in the – hold on a second. It's not a bad idea, Bobby. Let's see. Um, <coughs> I do have some black lights that might sort of work. It's a good point. <clears throat> nice. I think it's going to show up right. Yeah, this one's kind of a weird bulb. It looks okay in person, but like on camera, you guys are not going to see it. The camera's not going to pick it up right. But anyway, I think the phone will work. The light on the phone? I'll try the light on the phone. Yeah, it's 35th. Dang it. Yeah, let me try the light on the phone. I'll give that a shot. I have a small UV light that's like a handheld that would might do it. In person, it works, but on the camera, it's not picking it up. Let me reset my camera back to where it was at. Put that back on. Yeah. Sort of bring it up a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? Adam Bone through history. I don't think it's going to work like that, but you can at least see the symbol in there. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's not going to do it. No. Nope. We'll have to find a way to do this in, in real time sometime in the future, Joe. I don't know. Right. The so the black like not working, huh? Black light didn't really work. It just kind of illuminates everything that's white on there and it kind of blows up. Yeah. But anyway, they are super cool in person. I mean, honestly, they, they're pretty nice. So turn all these lights off. We'll find a way to do some glow in the dark stuff. I think it's part partially my camera's not really set up for that, but anyway, let me get that back. All the settings off here. Well, that dude slinging his eyeball around. There we go. That's pretty decent. Look, uh, decent looking. So yeah. Anyway, very cool. So that's glow in the dark card um, number four of ten. So there's ten in the set. There's an atom bomb. Um, there's several others. I just remember the atom bomb one. Made a big one too. But yeah, it's a hamster in a wheel in her head. All right, going back, we got uh, some revisits again, Trey Spray, so remember, always two. Oh, man, I got to do a Duck Jed. Marthy, Marthy, Martha, Headless Harriet, all revisits, classic sets, love it, and Skin Sam. I really want to do this guy now. I totally forgot about this guy. It's a great card, yeah. Yeah, that's a good, fun one to do. I did him in a trip to a trip to sketch. Do a vertical of that. Very good one. Love that one. All right, last pack of these, and then we'll go over the bonus card. All right. We'll That's the dude. I was just saying the guy slinging his eyeball around. Oh, little Lance, little Lance. Yeah, that's a bunk. Bunk card for sure. Oh wow, there's a. There's this is a bunk one. too. This one's a bunk. Cracked Chris is a bunk. Trying to find a lion. <clears throat> There's Apple. Apple A Ray. Pretty gruesome. How, how you like this one, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> always bad. Always always worry about that, right? Your teeth getting pulled out by the apple. Yeah. Damn it, man. That's Savage. Weird. They would never do this today. So they would never do this card today. We too scared to do it. Peanut Paul, or as you know, Lucy's kicking his body knife at the floor. Old E's back here. Yeah. This is a great card here. I did this on vacation as a puzzle. It's a lot of fun. I put uh, black light all through this, and through this, uh, the, the throw up area. So, but really enjoyed doing that one. So it was black light on mine. Yeah. Great one by, um, by Brent Engstrom. Here's a black border again. 
Nice card. <laughs> to revisit again, revisit of a earlier card, earlier original series character. Yeah, every once in a while, you gotta, you gotta run to the Killian. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Green Dean and our last card in here. Poor bugged Betty. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's wow. check out see what, we'll see what bonus card we got. So you get a bonus card in the box. That's it. Well, that's the four packs. No duplicates, right? Not one. Pretty nice. Got a glow in the dark in there. Some other things. Wow, man! I recently found uh, somebody with the four bonus cards, and I totally got them. Yeah. But it never showed up in the mail. Oh no. Yeah. You think they uh, just didn't send it, or just get lost, or? No, I mean, I'm. They had a picture of an envelope and all that. It's it's not bad. I, I just yeah. think it's just lost in the mail, dude. It happened. Yeah. All right, so here's our grand reveal. I have it upside down. <coughs> bonuses. So, and they don't say what bonus is on the front, on the back. So that's interesting. So we'll see what it is. Fatal. So, uh, bonus sticker 11B. Yep. Interesting. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, that's all right. And that's like a uh, Simcoe. It would normally say like B one in the back or something, right? It would, yeah. The, the older ones have the bonus on the front, uh, on the back, just a bonus card. But uh, and I remember now seeing this. I think I've pulled this a few times. Like these come out of the blasters. The real, the real expensive ones come out of the uh, the hobbies because they're more rare to get. Um, still a cool card. I just really impressed with like no dupes, high quality cards. They're fairly well centered. I mean, some are a little off, but not much. Not much at all. Die cut. I mean, Damn, dude. these say 2013. I'm, I apologize. So these are 2013 cars, not 2012, but 2013 on the border, I think. So around the edge. So 20, 2013, they were out. And that's right. Brand new series one was 2012. But yeah, really nice stuff. I don't know. You guys, you guys, did you collect any of these? Do you have a set of these or? In the chat, anything like that? If not, try to get a set of them. They're pretty nice. I mean, they're expensive to build a set these days, but to get a set, they may not be that bad. I don't know. Or <laughs> no, I've been seeing some BNS floating around for yeah. 40, 50 bucks. Yeah, they're kind of underrated, I think. So, quality yeah. cards are good. The artwork's excellent. Yeah, it's great. I mean, art. I like reaching back to these sets. They're really nice. They have some good art, good artists. Some artists aren't there anymore. Um, no, this was refreshing because I'll be honest, I kind of forgot. Um, these, these are really good gags. and Yeah, they are. I drew this one in pencil before I was a Topps artist for fun. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Always wanted to do it as a puzzle. Probably still will one day because I love that. I love what's going on. I love how mean the sheep is. All right. And uh, in the background, you could airbrush that and make it look real nice. So, Oh, wow. And JQ remembers buying them at Target. Yeah, I remember buying them at Target. I remember getting the... the um, I remember buying these in closeout at Target when they had the jumbo packs too. That's crazy. Yeah, really, really cool series. Series uh, one is good as well, but uh, as I said, series two is special to me because it's where I started back. And series three is good as well. Very good set. I like two a little bit better, but not by much. And they had C cards in these too, Joe, but they never released the production numbers on them. I have a C card of this character in the C name. And I can't remember the name, what it, what it is, but it's uh, I have the C card of this one. Yeah, that's my mom's name. <laughs> this was painted bow by a less popular artist, but she was the wife of the art director at the time, so she got a few commissions to do some artwork. So nice. Yeah, so she did a few, few of these, but yeah, um, <clears throat> she did this one. Good stuff. But yeah, I love I love some of these. Yes, that's right, Bobby. There's the name of that artist. I wasn't gonna say the names, but <laughs> I was gonna keep... 
protect the innocent. No, I just I just know that not some of the other top artists weren't happy with that arrangement. <laughs> sure, uh, I can see. That. Them, maybe. <laughs> but hey, you know yeah. right, that's not my business, not my time. Yeah, oh, what? Come on, like oh. <laughs> well, you know it is what it is. You know, it happens in, happens in corporations and businesses and stuff. So anyway. Joe, that's it, man. That's what we had for today's show. I mean, I, yeah. I think that was pretty cool. Some old artwork, some of these cool posters. Um, I think the Angry Father one. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I like that one. <laughs> this guy. Uh, yeah, I've seen this guy before, man. I've seen that guy. I think we all have. Oh, man, I remember him. <laughs> you remember him. I just think it's funny that he's beating him with the 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 soap the back scratcher for the soap the back soap <laughs> back that's what i love so much it's like yeah like <sighs> it's bath time like get in the in the bath whack 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 you know yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah it's a little mix for this week thanks jake i appreciate that we had a little mix of some variety stuff um have some different stuff next week maybe we'll open some more modern cards joe you yeah. still have how much of that case left man what do you got half of it Half of it. I've got some more coming too. Some of that didn't come in time for this show. Um, I had some more coming, but uh, decided we'd wait. Go we got some retro stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. something on the back on the backlog to get to. I think but, I'm gonna uh, man, to, to blasters, maybe to finish ill influencers and all yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I've got a few more blasters coming my way. Um I didn't get to these tonight. I think we'll just call it tonight since we know we're, we had a long, long week, but had some of these. Uh, I got some more of these. We can look at some time. The GPK posters, there's 16 of them. And I know we had a few dupes last time we opened them. Um, got four more. I am going to get some of these signed by Warhol. And um, I'll do some giveaways here on the channel. We'll give some away when we have the, the show later in the year. We come back. Probably in June, we'll give those away. But once I get them signed by uh, by, by James. Uh, right. So he, he is supposed to be at the May show, huh? He will. Like yes. He'll be there. Simcoe will be there. Dave Gross. Yep. Um, some others, yeah. So, so yeah, I'll give him a sign. And, and, and the reasoning mm -hmm. being is, I think I told before, I mentioned before, uh, his first work for Tops is in this set. So, his first poster work and artwork is in this set. So, I thought it'd be kind of cool to get a pack signed by him. Um, yeah, awesome. I don't have any posters of his out loose, but I, I maybe I can get a few of those signed too if I can find, find one or two. Great guy, really nice guy. If you've watched him in the 30th Seems anniversary, like yeah, the 30th anniversary special, he tells the story about. He he tell I've seen him tell the same story in person. He's just real sincere and genuine, and it's a shame they don't use him for anything anymore. Like Tops doesn't doesn't commission him to do anything. So, um, and maybe there's reasons for that. Maybe not able to do as much as he used to do or something. Maybe he doesn't want to. I don't know, but I know they use him. So, uh, what it where is it is? Yeah, yeah runs. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he he was at GrossCon. He was at GrossCon, which is amazing. I'm glad he made it out there. Absolutely. Yeah, that, was, that looked like good times. Yeah, yeah it looked great times. I like to have a can of those nasty Nick socks, like the, the sock cans are pretty cool. Yeah. See that? Was it was a good grip, right? Did those? Yeah. Um, and I believe you can get the canned socks. Like can you buy them? Yeah. Man, I didn't even try. I didn't even try. I just stayed clear of all that crap because if you're not out there at the show, and then I know the bandages, people want some of those and stuff, and they were going for crazy money and stuff. But Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind of ran yeah. the other on that one, too. Hey, Mark, you asked about follow-up documentary to focus on the later sets. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I asked um, years ago, um, maybe the second or third time I saw talked to Joe Simcoe about that. Um, I think it was just Joe I talked to. I may mean, have talked to Aaron, too. Aaron was a producer of it. And I talked to him about would they do one for, for, for like you said, an update sets. At that time, there wasn't as many, but there were still some update sets. And they were kind of like, well, you know, it'll last for a while. We'll let it breathe for a while. So I don't think they're, I don't think they're in, in the works of doing that for a long time. I'd like to see one of Wackies. I think they could do one for Wacky Packages and do something similar. Um, right. Um, but I would I be really interested. Fan base for Wackies big enough to do that for sure. Yeah, and I know it's an eighty. It's an older fan base too, to some degree. Like the collectors are sometimes older in that set. You know, um, but they go hand in hand. Like they really do. They're definitely related heavily. So um maybe something nice to see. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I hope they do a follow-up document. I really do. Um, but I don't know. Who knows? With Fantix involved now and everything, 
I don't know. I don't know if they will let him do it or take care. They may not. Right. Got to ask. Oh. Ask. Maybe we'll ask again. I mean, fanatics likes money. <laughs> they do. They do. They, do. they need to make some more sets of these wanted stickers. They need to do like an online set. I think it'd be a fantastic revisit for an online set. They did ugly stickers a couple years ago, like two years ago. They did ugly stickers, came back, and they did those. So, see that? Oh, Sad Boy, a couple shows ago, you had mentioned something that you were working on and a political card. What was it about? Oh, um, <laughs> I am still working on that card. Um, I've, I've been uh, a little slow to get it done. Um, health wise, but I do have it and hopefully can wrap it this week. I have some availability, so I'm going to finish up that card. And a political card is going to do for fun on a live stream. Um, I'll tell you what it was going to be. I'll tell you what it was. I'll tell you what the concept was, Sal Boy. So you know, it was going to be the time when they were beating up on Nikki Haley and all the election stuff. Okay, Nikki Haley, they called her Bird Brain, and I was going to do Bird Brain Brian as Nikki Haley. So from original, from my all new series, the Bird Brain card, if you remember that one. Thought about doing her as that. Um, so I thought about, you know, whatever, you know. JQ, can I do that? I mean, South Carolina connection. <laughs> if JQ gives me permission, I can do it. I'll do it then. I want to tell you. But, man, we have to. Yeah, but I don't really care. I think everybody's fair game who's on, on the <laughs> national stage. So, But that was my idea. I can kind of like see a GPK version of her as that. But, you know, that'd be kind of cool. Go for it. Okay, I got, I got, I got, got clearance. I'm saying got clearance from, our, from our from our SC contact down there. Okay, good. I I can see it in my head. And it looks pretty good, um, but I obviously would just do it for fun. I wouldn't try to sell anything like that because <laughs> um, it's <clears throat> too close to office work, you know. Yeah, I'll work on it. I'd love to do it during a live stream, like get back doing those, and maybe this week I can do that. But uh, the other card is is. So the other card I'm going to release, it's it's uh, it's going to be one monthly or something, but it's going to be more of a set, I think, um, is kind of a current event GPK-looking card. But it's not GPK. It's my own thing. Uh, it's not a GPK character. But it's um, it's near the color stage. It's already been lined. It's ready. It's near the final stage to be kind of painted or colored, however I do it. And then we'll produce some variants of it. So, Joe, you haven't even seen it. Have I showed it to you? No, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I haven't seen it to you. Yes, Mark. It's the one with the crow on the top of the head controlling the – the, 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 the character to walk. Yep. I want it. My birthday's coming up. Okay. I got to make it for Salad Boy. Salad Boy's voice, like, you need to make political cards. Because I love political satire, but, you know, you know, it's just a year, man. It's a year. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You got some elections going on down your way, too, Joe. You got some stuff going on your way. So. Yeah, what's all going kinds on? of stuff going in Texas, man. All kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> what is happening? Oh no, you're pretty far away from that, though. Pretty north of all of that, so. Yeah, you know. Yep. It's yep. Pretty chill, I guess, where I'm at. Honestly, pretty chill in near Austin, near outside of Austin. So. Not in Austin. Secret. You got secret locations. Secret. No. You're close. You're close to Austin. Yeah so, I'll work, yeah, yeah, so I'll work on that. I'll work on that card and we'll get this. So that's the kind of the idea. We're free to take it and do what you want. But, um, yeah, I'm sure Toss wouldn't like it if I sent it to them. Like, no, we can't use that. Political. <laughs> they, they, no, no political. They want no political cards. Trust me. No, they don't want us to do political sketches or anything like that. Uh, so, and that's their call. It's their, it's their product. So, you know. But I can do one. <laughs> so, love to see you do one of, with Trump. Yeah, um, I've only ever done one Trump sketch, and uh, for, I commissioned last Philly show and I did it for Trump, and um, it was when we was on the toilet. They wanted they just said want Trump on the toilet, so I drew him with a. It was kind of a, my own style between the one that Bunk did and the one that Simcoe did. I did my own thing, and um, and the person got it and they resold it to to flip it for money. So. Um, that was funny. Like, okay, <laughs> do what you want. You can do what you want when you get it. But so he wants. He lives in a trash bag on Sixth Street. Okay, yeah, yeah. that trash bag would still have a bunch of money in. I guarantee you that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a gold. It's like a golden trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> All the best trash bags. All the best ones. <laughs> 
people are saying, well, I won't get political with it. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll be like Trenton. I'm going to be neutral. I like Trenton's style. I love his style of being just anti neutral and we won't get into the drama. Uh, well, everybody, thanks for tuning in, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Bobby, we. Bobby, <laughs> I can talk to you later on, too. We'll talk to Bobby later. That was perfect. Man. That was just perfect. Oh, the impression. My impression needs to work on Trump. I'm not very good at the impression. Of that. Every time I see the court artist sketch Trump, I'm hoping he'll do a Zurich and go GPG sketch on the on the media for the media. Yeah, I mean, it would be good. Trump's a an interesting guy to draw. I mean, he's a he's a character that hair alone, man, right? I love the um, I love the uh, the Popo Funk ones they made with GPK, like the the Billery. They're over there. I've got I've got and the, and the uh, Humpty Trumpty. Do you remember those from 2016? They had two figures they made with the cards, and it's Trump sitting on a wall. He's building the wall, and he's sitting on there something. something. And Billary is like uh, unzipped Zach, where he's just he's unzipped. It's uh, Bill Bill Clinton's unzipping, and it's Hillary coming out. Right, right. Yeah, I love those. I, love, I, have, I own those. Sure. Yeah, actually, I have those too. Though. Yeah, I think Simcoe did those. We did one of them, and I don't know if Engstrom did one, and Simcoe did one, like the artwork, but. Did they really? I, I wasn't either. really made apart back then. That's funny. And I only remember that because Simcoe would sign some of the boxes and stuff like that. But one of them definitely is a Simcoe, and one of them, one of them must be Instrum, Instrum. Instr I think, I'm pretty sure it is, almost positive, because the unzip Zach I think is variant. You know, with with Billary. Oh, you got him as well. Gary's got him as well. They're awesome. They're awesome. I got an extra Trump one. I bought. A extra Trump one just in case. That was before before the <laughs> election was over. I was like, I'm gonna buy extra Trump one because it was so. Hilarious, but I love, I love the figures, man. Pretty cool. Gotta have a little fun with them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of Trump sketches out there. Most of them in the negative. <laughs> Most of them on the negative side. Right. So guy's got a hard enough time. I don't know. You need some you need some, you need some uh, courtroom ones. I'm surprised if they weren't scared to do them now, they'd have all kinds of courtroom sketches and, and painting, I'm sure. So right. I thought of so I'll be honest with you. I thought of doing one for Fanny Willis too. I had a GPK idea in my head for Fanny Willis too. The prosecutor in Georgia down there, it was mm -hmm. the name. Mm -hmm. The name alone just got just all kinds of ideas. I'm like, mm, right. you, you thought of any of that. Yeah, I, I could I could work with that. <laughs> I could, I could her dress was on backwards one time too, and it was like, but it wasn't. It was just the style of the dress. So I, just tons of stuff you could do with that. So, but I digress. Thanks everyone for tuning in this week. We'll have something, something different, maybe better next week. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just having some fun. But Joe, you have a good week, man. Hope you get some rest. Everybody out there, have a wonderful week. I know it's spring break for some people. Spring break here for for, for our kids here. So we're gonna enjoy some time and. Um, yeah, we just I will, get to work. I will get to work on some cards here. All right. Take care, Bobby B. Seeing you out there. Good to see you. Gary, Good Brian. Days. Thanks, Brian, for being here. Appreciate you Thank all. You. Everybody else I may, maybe have missed out there. Mark, thanks for tuning in. Oh, I missed a few other people out there, but I appreciate everybody uh, liking, subscribing the stuff. Or, or I'm subscribing and resubscribing. Either way, it doesn't matter. It all counts. Right. No, there's no button up there. We're not putting a button up there for that. We're getting, we're getting <laughs> no, there's no compensation here. There's no compensation. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Have a good week. Later, Jay.